Hey, it's Andrew here at BTO Range in Conroe, Texas, and we've got a little gun here on the bench. You see this black pouch with the HK on it. You think, man, that's a small pouch to have HK on it. If you're seeing this video, it's got to be at least October 16th because that's when this gun comes out. We've had it for a few days, uh, putting it through, putting it through its paces and taking it apart and, and getting this video ready uh, for the official release date of this gun. But this is the HK model cc9 which is this little pistol right here brand new from hk and there's a couple of firsts here with the hk uh product line to have that little guy first and foremost it's the smallest double stack pistol hk has ever made this is a nine millimeter and they're calling it a micro compact and the obvious comparison is going to be to the hellcat 365 uh, size or, or uh, envelope, if you will, of guns. One of the other big things about this gun is it's made here. Uh, and by here, I'm in Columbus, Georgia. It's made in the United States. It is not a German produced gun. So it wouldn't make um, import requirement um, marks anyway. So it's made here in the US. Uh, it is an HK. Uh, but it is made in Georgia. So uh, some other features of it, uh, it another kind of uh, departure for HK is it's a chassis built gun. The serialized portion of this gun is a chassis much like a Hellcat or much like a 365. The, there is a chad, the serialized part is a chassis. It has a grip frame slide and all that around it. So uh, all these are departures from what we typically associate with HK, but it makes for a really small little package. So the overall length of this gun is just a couple of hundredths over six inches and the width is 0 0.99 of an inch at the widest part so it's a super slim gun it's um it compares very favorably with the other guns that are already out there in this size class as far as width goes so uh 3.3 inch barrel uh, and you get two magazines with it you get a 10 round flush fit magazine and then you get the 12 round with the pinky extension, and that's what's in the gun now. So um, 18.4 ounces is the rest of the stats on this gun with it unloaded. So uh, these guns have been thoroughly tested and vetted. Uh, it meets all the drop tests from everybody, NATO and, and just about everybody else. So it's been, uh, they've been put through their paces by uh, the good folks at HK. So it is a striker fired pistol, but it's striker fired from the fully cocked position. So there's a discernible wall right there. There's a discernible wall rather than a roll. So when you, when you get to the, when you get to the wall, you can actually uh, come up with a pretty decent trigger press uh, as opposed to rolling through and cocking that two thirds cocked uh, striker that you find maybe on some other makes. So um, the cool thing that I like about it is with this 12 round magazine in place, you get a full grip on the pistol uh, for you got a place for your little finger to go so that you can control it and recoil. I shot it this morning and we're gonna uh, shoot it again, get it, get it in some other people's hands at the range to, uh, to put it through its paces on a target a little bit. And, uh, and we'll see how well it shoots. But with the 10 round mag in it, you still have room, at least on my hand, my finger kind of slips off of it a little bit. So uh, people with smaller hands would still get a full grip on that. This would be uh, just right borderline for me with that 10 round mag in it. The good news is it comes with a pinky extension for the 10 round mag. Uh, so it gives you this same extension with a 10 round mag for those people that live in states that have that particular magazine capacity in it that would be something that you would want to do or would probably need to do with that so the controls on the gun are all ambidextrous they're not reversible because they're already ambidextrous so you have the slide lock here and you have the mag release here on both sides uh, so so that's good it's it's fairly easy for me to operate from either side with the thumb or the forefinger either one being right-handed you get two back straps it comes with a small back strap installed it comes with a large back strap in the back with the large back strap installed the length of the length of pull here i guess is very similar to the vp9 pistol so it's it's really a 
micro compact is what HK calls it, but a subcompact pistol uh, with a big pistol feel. If you have the large back strap on there and the 12 round mag in, it feels fairly close to a VP9 SK, but it's much thinner and smaller in other dimensions. So uh, you do have a Picatinny rail here, two slots uh, for lights, lasers, whatever else you might want to attach to the gun. Um, so yeah, basically all the features that, you, that you'd find in uh, a subcompact carry pistol. Now, again, like we said, this is an American gun Made, are developed and designed here in the States. The barrel on this gun is German. Uh, the barrel is, uh, HK is well known for their barrel steel and uh, this gun is no exception. It uses the same quality steel, cold hammer forged barrels that come from Germany put in this gun. So you're not sacrificing any HK quality or any HK design features in that regard from the German made guns. So what sights do we have on it? Tritium front night sight here and a blacked out rear sight. Now, uh, I talked to HK this morning about aftermarket sight options. To me, the front sight dovetails uh, are front to back VP9, but VP9 sights are going to be too wide, but they assure me that aftermarket sight manufacturers have already been uh, spec or already had the specs for this gun, so it's not going to take very long for them to tool up Trijicon and uh, Americlo and XS and all these people coming out with sight uh, different sights to drop on this. But as it is now, you have the tritium dot front sight blacked out rear sight is what it comes with. It does come optic ready, so uh, it is a RMSC footprint, uh, so similar to a 407K but uh, with a little modification for a 7K work. But uh, that with an RMSC footprint, you get, um, what, zero tech, SIG, shield optics, obviously. It's a Vortex Defender will fit on there. there there's quite a few direct bolt-on uh, optics that will go to this, and then obviously there's plates that can adapt it to, to even other stuff if you wanted to, so. Um, multiple safeties in the gun, like like most other striker fired guns, you have a bladed trigger safety here. There is a uh, active firing pin block safety that is uh, defeated when the trigger bar is pulled. It pushes the disconnector up, pushes the uh, uh, the firing pin safety out of the way, allows the firing pin to go forward. It's, it's that's pretty standard stuff, but in HK fashion, it is it is super really well done. So the extractor also functions as a loaded chamber indicator. Uh, when the gun is loaded, uh, it, you can feel the extractor here, so it's tactile. It's also red, painted red on the top, so it's a visible loaded chamber indicator as well. So uh, what do you get in the manual? You get the soft case. You get the really well, well done instruction manual with complete disassembly instructions. Uh, the safety lock, the other back strap, you get the two magazines, you get the extension. So uh, let's take it apart. So uh, the gun cannot be taken apart with the magazine in it. The magazine has to be removed. And in order to rotate this takedown lever, the slide has to be in the locked back position. So when you do that, it moves this cutout in the, in the slide to where you can rotate this lever to this position. And then you just simply pull the top half off. So then it's just the recoil spring assembly, which is captive, and then that cold hammer forged barrel comes out. So uh, that it's it's a really standard, really simple field strip uh, procedure, not unlike other guns on the market. And uh, this is the chassis. Now, in order to remove the chassis, when, once we're in this position, we pull this back to roughly five o'clock. It will come out. Now, once that is out, there is a small pin. I don't know if you can see it. There's a small pin right in that hole. It requires a 1 16th punch. That pin comes out and then the chassis lifts up and out forward. So it's keyed in down here. It's, it um, 
sits into place this way, then it's pinned here, and then the, the takedown lever goes into place. And we've got a, I've taken it apart on the bench uh, over at the range, and we'll put that picture up of the gun all taken apart with the chassis out of it. Uh, it's from the gunsmith nerd perspective, looking at the chassis, I see a lot of, uh, a lot of cool features in there that are going to make it very competitive to the established pistols that are out there on the market, uh, such as the 365. Now, I, this is an HK video, so it, it's but it's hard not to bring up the 365 because it is literally uh, one of the top selling pistols on the market. And HK is a little slow to the game with handguns uh, in this particular size. But in typical HK fashion, they have made sure um, that the gun is engineered well. So uh, over 750,000 rounds in development on this platform. Uh, they really torture tested these guns to all the NATO requirements, things of that nature. So what's the warranty on the gun? Limited lifetime warranty to the original purchaser on the civilian market. It's not a transferable warranty. Uh, and to the LE military customers, it is a one-year warranty. So if, if you're buying, if you're going to buy this gun, I'm sure it's going to be on the LE program. Uh, if you're buying this gun on the LE program, it's a one-year warranty on the gun. So just something to bear in mind. That's not a secret. It's it's actually written in the manual. So um, read the manual. There's a lot of good stuff in there. So uh, that said, I mean, unless you take it apart and can't put it back together or you try to do something to it it wasn't designed to do, I don't really foresee the gun breaking, uh, to be honest with you. So these are really, really solid, super little guns. Uh, the MSRP on this gun is $699. $699 is full MSRP on this gun. Um, so I'm not sure what the real world price is going to be. HK Premier dealers are, are getting these guns now and, and should have them on the 16th of October 2024. If not very shortly thereafter, they'll have at least two of them. Uh, the factory, whoever's factory direct with HK, should have those. Uh, and then other shops relatively soon thereafter as the guns become available through mainline distribution. So um, the sights on this gun, uh, we talked about them, the, the sights are regulated uh, for 124 grain ammunition and we're going to shoot 115 in it today. I shot 115 this morning and it printed just a little low for me. Uh, it's center hold sights, not six o'clock holes. So bear that in mind on this little gun. I was able to consistently get X's though uh, with 115's. If I held just a little bit high, uh, I was able to consistently get X's with it. But we're gonna put it in the hands of a couple of people that shoot better than me, and we'll, we'll see how it goes with them here in just a bit. So uh, the HK CC9, brand new gun from HK. Um, a big change uh, in HK because it's a domestic gun. It's a U.S. made gun. German barrel. Colt coal hammer forged barrel. All the all the good stuff, uh, all the quality and all the engineering you expect from Heckler and Coke uh, in a U.S. made gun. So uh, we're happy to have it. We're happy that uh, HK allowed us to to do this little video on the gun. And we're going to be uh, we're going to be shooting it here in just a second. So uh, thanks a bunch. We're out here on our small side of our pistol range. We're going to put some rounds for this new HK CC9. I've got Tara here. Uh, she's our marketing director and events coordinator and all around go to person for the range. And you've got a ton of experience shooting nine millimeter stuff, but I do. mainly SIG pattern, right? Like SIG 365. I, I do more Glock than, than SIG. The G word has been spoken. It has. But yes. Okay, so this is. But I am an HK fan. I okay. used to have a bunch of HK. Well, the cool thing, and anyone here for the tabletop, this is an all American HK, except for the barrel, which is German. So uh, nine millimeter striker fired. We've got a 12 round mag and a 10 round mag. Let's go ahead and put some rounds through it and give us your opinion on this. Little All right, thing. I'll do one mag. You can do the next mag. And okay, we can do that too. It. All right. 
What do you think? I like it. It's got a little bit of a kick to it, but you kind of expect that with a, a smaller, like, concealed carry firearm. But uh, I like it. I think it's good. And you're it's using good. the flat mag, right? The one without the pinky extension? Yes. So this mag here has a pinky extension for that, you know, for that little finger to be someplace right. to go. So let's see what happens. She's gonna, I mean, I doubt I'll do that good. <laughs> we'll see. Andrew, good yeah. job. To me, I've shot a lot of 365s mm -hmm. and a, a few Hellcats. I'm not a huge Hellcat guy, but to me, the recoil impulse on this gun is easier for me to deal with than the smaller 365. Right. The little 365s, I don't shoot well at all. Uh, the Fuse and the X Macro, the bigger guns, because I have more grip area to hang on to, but this one gives me. It, it shoots like a bigger gun. It's a small gun, but it shoots for me anyway, like a bigger gun. Yeah, I think I'd definitely, if I was gonna carry something like that, I'd wanna have the, the pinky extension on there. Well, it's got, it's got uh, in, the, in the bag, it has a 10 round mag. It also has an extension. You can replace this space plate with an, with an extension that does not extend the mag capacity in case you're in Colorado or God knows where that has to have 10 round mag. Um, it's a chassis gun also, so it's a chassis on the inside. So that means that the grip frame's not a gun, it means the slide's not a gun, it means that, you know, line extensions are possible. I talked to HK about that this morning. Their official word, no comment. Ha! Huh. Which, which means that I wouldn't be surprised if we didn't see, certainly color variations, but uh, almost certainly I think at some point we're gonna see maybe 15 round mags and longer, you know, longer, uh, longer grip frames and possibly longer slides. Uh, then at some point it starts to become a VP9SK size wise, you know, if it gets that big, but this is much narrower here. This is 0.99 of an inch here. So. Yeah, it felt great in the hand. Definitely felt great in the hand. Cool. Winner, not a winner. 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 I would carry it. Yeah. HK, folks, the new CC9. If you're watching this video, it's available. HK Direct Dealers. Uh, got a couple of them, and they should be on the shelf now. So uh, reach out. Uh, get, contact your local HK dealer. Get one of these in your hands and, and uh, put a HK in your holster for Christmas. Thanks. See you later. Bye.